Welcome to Autosport, Botswana's first lifestyle and car review show. So this is a gorgeous empty ground. And if you're a motorhead, you know why this is so exciting. Because for us, this is like being a kid in a playground. So now I wanted to bring a tank out here. But unfortunately, the BDF wouldn't exactly play along. So we had to settle for the next best thing. So this is the Land Rover Defender. So, a little bit of facts about the Land Rover Defender. This car was originally debuted, I believe, the 1948 Amsterdam Motor Show, where it was called the Land Rover Series. Now, from there, the car was renamed and rebranded as the Land Rover Defender in the 1980s. And uh, it's had a successful run for several, several years since then. One of the nice things is in this 67 years of pedigree heritage, they've created one of the most amazing all-terrain vehicles I've ever driven, that's for sure. It truly is one hell of a tank because this vehicle will go anywhere you want to go. Believe me when I say that. The Defender is also the blue-eyed boy of the Botswana Defense Force for many years until it was discontinued recently and it's definitely played its part in defending our country. Not just the Botswana Defense Force but also a lot of armies and armed forces throughout the world use this particular vehicle as well. And the reason for that is just the fact that this will go anywhere pretty much. Some fun facts about this car comes in a variety of engine configurations. It basically has 4x4, obviously, all-wheel drive. It's got dip lock, it's got a whole host of off-road and all-terrain uh, features. This particular vehicle that I have has, is actually outfitted with a snorkel that goes all the way over the roof of the vehicle. So this will allow you to actually submerge the vehicle in a lake or a river or whatever all the way up to the ceiling and the car will still keep going. Incredible, absolutely incredible. This is a tank. Trust me, this is a tank. It's insane, it's absolute insanity that this vehicle still today in 2018 and 2019 is still an amazing off-road vehicle with very little different from the original vehicle. Boy, I am having so much fun on this ground. <laughs> this is absolute exhilaration. Oh man, that was absolutely epic. Unfortunately, the Land Rover Defender was discontinued uh, about a year and a half ago, but all's not lost. I mean, the DNA of this beautiful, amazing off-road machine lives on in the Land Rover series. Obviously, I wouldn't do this to a Range Rover, but you get the idea. I mean, this, this pedigree of 4x4 all-terrain vehicles is there. It's a part of the Land Rover DNA. This is Land Rover. This week, we feature the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. So it's been said. And that's just one of a million quotes about power. But nothing quite says power like the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado with its opulence and luxury that rests beneath that crystal white exterior. This car speaks volumes about power. And today, like pretty much any powerful man, I'm going to be chauffeur driven for a round of golf.
So let me tell you a little bit about the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. So typically for some reason you only find them like in white or silver. Like, I mean, they do come in other colors, but it's the two favorite colors that you'll find pretty much anywhere in Botswana. Obviously, uh, it's the simplest colors to maintain and keep clean. But also, a lot of people take these vehicles out into the bush. Uh, they're great 4x4s. So you can pretty much go out into the desert. You can go out into uh, the bush belt. You can take it out into, uh, you know, a lot of people if they're going out to meet their constituents, for example. No issues at all. It's got full 4x4 capabilities. Um, you've got a low range, you've got high range, you've got diff lock, you've got pretty much all the standard uh, 4x4 features that'll let you tackle pretty much any terrain. So obviously it's a great 4x4. I think everyone knows that. It's got amazing uh, ride clearance as far as the bottom is concerned. So you shouldn't have too much of a problem with tackling terrain. But it's also incredibly comfortable. So it's one thing to go out into the bush and rough it out. And it's another thing to be sitting right here in the back on these amazing leather seats with, mind you, heated and ventilated rear seats. I mean, that's amazing. You've got full control right from the back here of your airflow, right? So you can go low, high. You can set your own temperature for the back as opposed to the front. You can basically control the flow, whether it's coming from the vents at the top here or from your feet at the bottom. You've got the control over your seat heaters as opposed to the one on the other side. You can basically control all these things straight from here in the back seat. Now, as far as the front is concerned, you've got your usual set of features that you'll find, like say in the Fortuner or you'll find in the, the full-sized Land Cruiser. Uh, it's got a full computer computer system that basically monitors your fuel economy. You've got the usual stuff, Bluetooth audio, you've got steering mounted controls, you've got climate control for passenger and for driver, dual zone climate control. Uh, well, in this case, you've got three zone climate control because even the back is uh, uses a different climate control system. You've got a third row of seats at the back here, so you can actually comfortably fit seven people with no worries at all. And of course, you have that incredible luggage capacity at the back. So if you've got the rear seats uh, folded down, right, and you basically uh, make way for the full-sized uh, trunk space, you can pretty much hold anything. Now in this case, we've just got a set of golf clubs, which, you know, pretty much would just rattle around there. But you can comfortably fit like bigger stuff, boxes, whatever you have to carry with absolutely no issues. The seats obviously fold down flat, 60-40 split um, so yeah even if you want additional space even more space you have no worries with that either so among the 4x4 features that you have or rather the off-road features that you have you've got the hill descent control which will let you tackle any kind of uh, incline with no issues at all uh, just press the button and it'll control the acceleration and the braking all the way down the hill uh, you don't have to do a thing the ride is amazing mind you you know we're basically going out just through the city but you know it's a great feeling you know there's not much of a jolting as far as the ride quality is concerned it feels great that brief trip we are actually here at the Havroni Golf Club which has uh, been kind enough to host us today we're gonna basically go out there and play a round of golf now I am terrible at golf so I'm hoping I can get someone to show me a thing or two uh, about how to play golf
try and just make it feel natural here. So I'm just swing a couple of times. All right, so stand over there. Yes! Yes! An incredible once in a lifetime hole in one. An amazing experience riding in a superb luxury SUV. If this isn't the feeling of power, I don't know what is. Today we're talking about the big boy Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. You can insure this car for as little as 1,800 pula a month, but depending on your personal circumstances, this could go up. Or you could just go down. You know, we've all been guilty of not checking our car thoroughly before we go out for a drive. But what do you check for? Well, let's find out from the car doctor. Hello? I'm the car doctor. I see you're about to go out. Before you go out, can you please switch off your car and step outside? I want to show you some basics. Okay. First things first, safety first. You should never leave your bag exposed because it attracts smash and grab thugs. You should always try to conceal it so that they do not see it, especially under the seat. Always keep your phone handy. Now, it is essential for you before you even start your car, there is a phone, to check that it's safe to drive your car. It's important for you to check your tires before you get into your car. Visual, check that it is not deflated or flat. It is important for you to make sure that there are no animals, objects or children under the car or behind the car. Make sure that there is nobody under the car or nothing under the car. Once you are certain that it is okay and clear for you, you need to check the oil, the water in the car. The engine uses oil and water. And the engine uses the oil to lubricate it and the water to cool it. So it is essential that we make sure that the levels are sufficient. Now, you need to open your hood. it up and check the levels and you prop it now there is something that we call a dipstick that's what we will use to check the level of the engine oil it is yellow in color you pull it out you wipe it and then put it back inside you pull it out and we check the level how is the engine oil it's good. It's good. So you can put that back in. Now we're going to check the coolant level. Now this is the coolant bottle and that's the mark. How is the level? Oh, it's good. It's good. Then there's the brake fluid. Brake and clutch fluid. There's the mark. How is it? It's okay too. So you are good to go. So remember to close the bonnet. Make sure it's tightly closed so that it doesn't open when you're driving. Oh, okay. So these are the basics that you need to always make sure that you check before you drive. Oh wow, thank you car doctor. You are welcome, have a lovely day. We find out why the iconic Toyota Corolla has been so ridiculously successful in the market for more than 50 years. So, as you may have heard, Alpha Direct is moving offices to the new Botswana Innovation Hub. So, naturally, we have a bunch of stuff to move. Now, I, since I work here, have been tasked with the wonderful job of helping out with the move. So, I've asked my wonderful friends at Motor Center if they can send us something big, like a nice big car uh, to help with the move. I don't know what they're sending us, but... Uh, Oh, I think Max is here right now with uh, a Corolla. Is this what they sent us? Yeah. 
Toyota has this for you. So they sent this to move all those boxes? Yeah. Alright, well thanks. <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. I wonder how many boxes we can actually fit in a Toyota Corolla. So, as you could see, we actually managed to fit each and every single one of those boxes in a Toyota Corolla. And there's still space for more. That's the crazy part. This car is enormous. I mean, I'm, I'm literally shocked. And on that note, I think it's time to take a drive out to the Innovation Hub by the airport and let's offload these boxes at the new Alpha Direct offices. Come on, let's go. You know, you must be wondering, like, you know, this is a crazy test. I mean, like, how do we, how do we get to boxes? I mean, but there's just so much space. I mean, for an entry-level car or a mid-sized car, I mean, whichever you want to categorize it as, it is enormous, it is a big car, it has tons of boot space and it's just a very roomy feel. And you can see that to shift over 10 boxes uh, in one move, in one shot was like, was, was a no-brainer. I mean, it was just so easy. So let's talk a little bit about the car now. The Corolla has been, you know, it's been the go-to car for everyone since oh man since like the 70s in, in Botswana at least but this is not your parents Corolla no uh, no make no mistake this is a whole new beast the 2018 Corolla is packed with features for one um, it's you know it's got this amazing touchscreen system which you can control uh, and it's enormous it's a big touchscreen system um, comes with Bluetooth comes with the USB connection uh, it's got tons of features I mean just to run through them it's got steering mounted controls for your Bluetooth um, cell phone connection it's got uh, cruise control so you can basically set the speed that you want to move at and the car will accelerate and decelerate for you amazing stuff the the cool thing about this car is it's also got a graphical interface that's lined up in the center of the dash console as well that kind of shows you um, how much fuel consumption you're you're going through live as you're driving so when i accelerate a bit it increases when i decelerate it goes down it calculates whether you're being economical with your fuel usage or not so when you're looking at a car you have to look at the finer aspects of things i mean uh, something as small as the indicator sound like if I don't even know if you can hear this on the camera but it's got like a very soft ticking sound it's not that hard tick that you hear and all of that gives you this feeling of luxury that you wouldn't get in most uh, entry to mid mid-sized cars and that is something that goes with the feel of the car when you sit in the driver's seat everything feels quality the obviously you know there's there's a lot of plastic in here but like the plastic that you see the plastic that you feel is high grade high quality plastic the finishing is just perfect the quality of the door when you you know one of the tests that i've heard about is when you shut the door that that sound that comes when the door shuts tells you about the quality of the build of a car this car sounds brilliant when you close it everything sounds just perfect and it's I mean it's it's no surprise I mean Toyota is the company that that makes Lexus um, they've got tons of experience in building high quality cars 
in uh, breaking the quality barrier and and going above and beyond and they've translated all those lessons into something as basic as a Corolla. I will tell you something about uh, safety and uh, it's a personal story of mine actually. I owned a Corolla, I had an accident and one of the interesting things is uh, it was a really bad accident and uh, the car was, was pretty much a write-off but I got out without a scratch. That was the amazing thing about it. You have an impact at 120 k's an hour, you know, the airbags popped, all the safety features came on, but believe it or not, not a single scratch. And that's why I, when I get into a Corolla, I know that I can speak from personal experience that Corollas are built not just for quality, but for safety as well. So, you know, one of the things that I forgot to mention, and I don't know why we didn't think about it when we were loading the boxes, you can actually split the seats into 60, 40 and drop them down, the back seats. And that gives you additional loading room to load more stuff all the way from the boot into the car. And the particular car I have also comes with electric mirrors, so you can adjust the mirrors directly from inside the car. You don't have to turn that knob or any of that stuff. It comes with uh, central locking, comes with keyless entry, so you don't have to actually pull the keys out of your pocket and start the car. You don't even have to press the button. You just literally touch the door handles, doors open, you get into the car, press the start button, engine roars up. So the car also has a remote boot opener, so you can press a button on the key and it'll actually pop the boot open so you don't have to uh, you know, go and fiddle around with switches and uh, levers or any of that stuff. So the model I have here today also has rain sensing wipers. So you can literally, um, you know, just go about your day driving and the moment raindrops hit the, the windscreen, it'll start wiping for you. It'll recognize the raindrops and start wiping. Um, it'll also adjust the speed depending on how fast or how slow you're going. Uh, how much rainfall is there, how little rainfall is there, everything is controlled by the system. The thing about Corollas is they just work. They're just, you know, if you keep it serviced regularly, you take good care of it, it'll last you. I've heard of Corollas going on for 20 years with no trouble at all. There's a sense of irony that comes from this, you know, taking a car as innovative and dependable as the Toyota Corolla and bringing it out here to the innovation hub. We're talking about innovation here and Toyota has really innovated with this new Corolla. It is amazing and it speaks volumes about the future of Toyota and the Corolla as we've known it and how we will know it in the future. Here at the innovation hub. Oh, wait. That means I gotta offload all these boxes on my own now. We're talking about the well known Toyota Corolla. You could insure this vehicle for as little as 600 Pulama. But depending on your personal circumstances, this could go up or it could just go down. Well, that's it for today's episode of Autosport. Botswana's first lifestyle and car review show. Join us again next week, same time, same channel. Ciao. Bye, guys.